really got to address a lot of questions that we get or that I often hear from young pro-life advocates who kind of hear from their professors that, you know, capitalism is evil and socialism is good. And, you know, if you're really pro-life, you would embrace socialism because socialism will make sure a woman never feels like she has to choose abortion because she'll get guaranteed universal income and high minimum wage and free health care and free child care and free, 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 free. And then there would be no abortions and rainbows and unicorns for everybody. So why is that wrong? It sounds like the promised land, what you're describing. Yes, yeah. Um, I mean, why not? So I'm going to use this. I'm going to start by using a phrase um, that comes out of um, some of the history of the church. But I think it's, it's something that really haunts me, which is sort of that, you know, in, in reality, in reality, we don't get free and equal except in poverty. You can be free and equal in poverty, but you can't get free and equal and all have prosperity. So, um, you know, so in other words, like if you if you want to sort of tip the tip the scales in the direction of everything being free and a kind of big like redistributive socialist um, agenda, you're going to get a kind of equality, but it's going to be miserable. Um, you know, and that's we see that theoretically. But of course, like the experience of the 20th century really bears that out. I mean, if you want to, you know, nobody wants to move to any explicitly socialist country today. Um, and to bring this back to your the topic that's closest to your heart, um, you know, the, the former Soviet Union, the countries of the for, former Soviet Union are places that were just renowned, especially when I was growing up, for having some of the highest uh, per capita abortion rates in the world. Mm-hmm.